Local leaders in the Latino community are calling out the county for its low number of Spanish-speaking contact tracers. The county says it is aiming to hire more contact tracers that represent the Latino community that's been hit the hardest with local positive cases. But activists say it's too little, too late. News 8's Heather Hope has the story. Addressing disparities in contact tracing here in Skyline, local activists and Hispanic leaders met to call out the county on lack of adequate contact tracers in the Latino community. We know there is a disproportionate impact of COVID, particularly in the Latino community. San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher says county leaders are working to hire contact tracers who match the demographics of our positive COVID-19 cases. We know that we have a ways to go to fulfill this and we are working and engaging with community groups. We are doing outreach. Uh, to get more applicants, to get more Spanish speakers into the process. This statement coming after the Chicano Federation of San Diego County released this chart showing the contact tracer and investigator hires. 47.3% are white and 25% are Hispanic Latino. That's 144 Latino contact tracers of a total of 565 hires. With Latinos most impacted by this pandemic, making up 61% of the region's confirmed cases, the Chicano Federation says the county lied to them and told them repeatedly that the county was working diligently to hire people from the community. Our role is to hold our leaders accountable because our community is suffering and people are dying. Also saying the county is doing too little too late. There's no excuse for these delays. This is a matter of life and death. Former California State Assembly member Lori Saldana joined with Shane Harris's People Alliance for Justice in a media briefing calling out the county's contact tracing response. Stop reacting and be proactive. Martin Arias of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce says it's a struggle for his own parents. When they get a phone call, they're automatically, you know, hesitant to answer any questions just because of the fact that they don't know who's on the other side of the line, especially if they don't speak Spanish. The county has a contact tracing goal of investigating at least 70% of new cases in 24 hours, but became overwhelmed as cases spiked in early July. The county released this statement in part, we are reaching out to our community partners in Latino communities to recruit more Latino contact tracers. As you know, the staff assigned to contact trace is just under 200. The high and rapid demand for adding over 500 more is still in progress. We will refocus our matching the ethnicity of contact tracers with those testing positive. It's good that now they're doing that. The Chicano Federation did speak with county leaders today and are hopeful of more Hispanic hires. Based on the conversations we've been having with them today and some of the plans that, that they're that they're working on, you know, we, we are definitely optimistic about the fact that there will be change coming. Heather Hope, News 8.